They enter the corner. He's up the racetrack a little bit. Matt Tiff's going to try to drive in there to get to his inside, and they just got together. 60 of Austin Cendrick just wasn't on the very bottom of the racetrack. Opened up a little bit of hole that Matt Tiff was, you thought was there, and then you can see right here the contact with Reddick. Started Cendrick's flipping. That's very unusual to see a car flip that late after initial impact. So here we go above. Well, Jeff, you knew it was just a matter of time. It was trying to get really bunched up too wide, and Matt Tiff thought it's under 20 to go. He had to make a lane. You see that tumble, as you mentioned, really rough for the 60 car, but basically Matt Tiff thought it was time to try to make it three wide, and we've seen that before, Dale, out of the tri-oval. If that inside road doesn't protect the double yellow line, that's a place that people get runs, but that was late into the corner for Matt Tiff to look underneath the 60. Yeah, that's, that is a late move, and it's difficult to be able to you know, for the spotter to get that information to the 60 we're in, we're in that he's got a car underneath him. But there was room there. There was room to go, and, and Matt decided that that was the move he wanted to make. You. You'll see right there, there's a little bit of a hole. It looks like he has room to go to the bottom. And when he went to go, it just closed up. And, you know, we always like to point a finger and say, this guy messed up or that guy messed up. And 